What's good, people? This your boy, Black Ass African, back at it again with another video from Keeping It OG Volume 2. Uh, I know it's been a little gap in between, but hey, man, life stuff, stuff comes up, so you gotta do what you gotta do when it comes to life. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna review uh, another OG shoe. It came out a little later, but everybody knows and loved the brand back in the day. It was like a, a rival with uh, the Troop brand. Um, <clears throat> but before I get started, if you like the video, please like it. Please comment. You know, tell me what you think about the video. And with that, let me straighten this camera up a little bit. With that being said, let's get right into it. All right, what I am going to be reviewing is this right here. This is the 2008 Retro. Uh, British Knight Ultra. As you can see, the distinct British Knight branding on the back. It has the branding on the side, and it also has that that diamond BK uh, branding right there. That's 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 their signature. There's the bottom. Uh, pretty much how they started. It was founded back in 1983 by a guy named Jack Schwartz. Uh, they distinguished themselves as a inner city, of course, and music driven brand appealing to the urban communities. Uh, back in 85, they introduced their first sneaker collection and the sales exploded, you know, just like Troop did. Uh, the classic, the shoe ain't nothing without the BK button, which is this right here. Uh, they also said, da, 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 da. oh, their, their hip hop endorsers were Kumo D. He was like their first one. And if you go back and look at his video, How You Like Me Now, you'll see that he has the track suit on. Uh, he wouldn't have these on, but he have some BKs on. Uh, I think MC Hammer wore BKs for a little while. And I think in the NBA... Uh, Derek Coleman, which is from Mobile, Alabama, via Detroit. Um, he also was the NBA endorser or athletic endorser of this shoe, of uh, this brand. Uh, in 2014, BK came back and we launched a series of collabs. Uh, one of the collabs was a designer and an artist by the name of Darren Romelli, uh, who was the creative di director at the time for uh, BK. So there's a lot of history in this man. Uh, just to go off the shoe, you can see that it's a full grain white leather and you have your interlays as a cement print. You got it here going across the toe box around to the side. You have it here on your medial side. You have it on your heel counter. You can see that infamous BK all the way on the back. It has a uh, pylon mid midsole. Uh, it's it's fairly comfortable. Uh, no no uh, no issues with the comfort. Let me see the inside of it. See the inside, British Knights. What I thought was cool when I actually got this shoe. I'm gonna see if y'all can see this. That Foot Locker tag for $64.99, uh, that's what they retail back in the day. But then they started going on sale. Uh, you can see the BK branding on the tongue. Uh, it has that cement or elephant print on the strap. These were to rival the, this was like an 88 shoe. And these were to rival the Nike uh air cross trainers the whole line because you can see the little ribs right here and they have the, the four foot strap and that's pretty much what nike did uh what i like about this shoe is that on the bottom it actually has like a like a belt buckle like uh, here's one and it's like the belt strap and then here's another one there's the buckle and then the strap goes with it i thought that was a pretty cool touch but you have your white here, your black outlining trim. You got white, white, black, white. 
and the black you see is uh, it's got the BK or British Knights in it. So all in all, I like this shoe. I think it's a dope shoe. That's their logo, the crest. It's a dope shoe. Um, leather, it's fairly decent. I mean, it's not the best, but when you when these brands try to research and come back, they normally sell to someone that's just trying to get the name out. And what they do is um, they try to use the the more cheaper material to get to kind of get it out there. Uh, but mainly it's just the nostalgic things on these shoes like this, you know, it's just nostalgia on these shoes. It's not, you're not buying it for the quality. You're buying it for the styles of reasons, purposes. And I like that dope touch right there. That'll be a great camera shot right there if you had them on feet. But this is my quick vid of these. I, I love these right here. I'm glad I got them in my collection and they will be on feet, uh, soon. So check my ig is uh my ig is uh black ass african uh black underscore ass a z z underscore african same name as uh my youtube page so check me out uh with that being said like i said it's just a quick vid on this and i think my next vid i will give you an actual preview so let me sit here and think of what i can do for my next vid This probably be my next vid, so just keep in, keep in, uh, keep in contact with me, uh, and we'll get this out. With that being said, it's your boy Black Ass African. Uh, that was my quick vid on these British Knight Ultras. Um, dope shoe, dope shoe. Uh, like I said, keeping it OG, volume two, and we out one. No, I can't do that. That's G4. I can't. I can't steal G4 shit. So let me think of one. <laughs> this keeping it OG. Peace.